Hi, I'm Rabbi Jacques Kukirkorn, and I'm here to try to answer a question that I hear often, which is why some rabbis perform at interfaith marriages and some don't. Generally speaking, these questions are asked by couples who come and they have chosen to marry somebody of a different religion, and many times they're very, very hurt because they don't like being turned down. They feel sometimes betrayed by the rabbi of their childhood, the rabbi who maybe did their bar mitzvah or their bat mitzvah, and who now refuses to marry them. Sometimes they may be just being young and assuming they are so happy about their marriage that everybody else would be as well and be happy to help them. And in fact, they encounter a whole culture of... Uh, that exists around marriages, of a whole industry where everybody is so happy and festive, and find rabbis who say no. Why would a rabbi say no? There are many reasons. I can't speak for all of them. I can just speak in general terms. Uh, let's start with, why would a rabbi say no? First, maybe, they don't believe that that's the best for the Jewish people. Some, they would, some rabbis would not do it because, because you know, they feel that if you marry somebody Jewish, maybe the children will not be raised Jewish. They're concerned with the perpetuation of the Jewish people. Some rabbis, even if they wish to, they can't do it. So, so you understand, Orthodox rabbis for sure won't perform an interfaith marriage. Conservative rabbis are not allowed to do it by their organization, and if a rabbi did, he would get expelled. Among reform rabbis is where you'd find, among the major movements, rabbis willing to do it. A percentage of reform rabbis will do it. Um, I perform interfaith marriages because, first of all, I believe that God loves love. I'm in the God business. I'm in the love business. Thus, I am happy to do it. I certainly try to counsel the couple to, dis to discuss issues relating to how they intend to raise their children, to their marriage together. I don't particularly believe that an interfaith marriage is more or less doomed because they have different religions. I believe marriages in general are complicated, have been married 20 years, but it, necess and, it requires patience and forgiveness and communication. But... Um, also, in my opinion, and I want to speak for myself, I will even do other things like co-officiate or do a wedding in a church just because I understand there is a greater reality that, that involves the life of the couple. When somebody comes asking me for something, I assume it's not a random thought, a random request. They have thought about this. Maybe that his or her grandmother insists the wedding be in a church. So... If a rabbi says, I don't feel comfortable doing a wedding in a church, which I understand and respect, the consequences, however, are much greater than that rabbi. So I guess the reason why I do what I do is to validate and help couples. Because ultimately, people come to me not with, Rabbi, would you make my life harder? <laughs> rabbi, would you judge me? But rather, Rabbi, would you help me? Anyone who wants to come and say, Rabbi, judge me, I'm sure I can do that as well. But generally, I try to help. But at the same time, I think it's important to understand that those rabbis who don't perform interfaith marriages are not bad. They are acting in accordance with their consciousness. They are acting in accordance with their beliefs. They are acting in accordance with what the congregation that employs them, them requests or their movement there are many, many solutions. I think the, the, the one issue that is not a solution is when people go and get so desperate and they end up going to fake rabbis or people who just got ordained yesterday over the internet or something like that. And maybe I'll make a video about that. So that's it. I'm Rabbi Jacques Sugarkorn. Wishing you Mazel Tov if you are getting married. Don't get discouraged. I'm sure you'll find a nice rabbi to marry you and who'll make it your day really, really meaningful. Bye-bye.